Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the weekly show where I teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks, and today I've got another of what I call a breaking case of emergency tutorials for you. Now these are tutorials that hopefully you'll never have to use, but if you do need them, you'll be damn glad that you've got them to hand. Today we're going to look at what happens if you accidentally delete a sequence or a clip that you've got a bunch of sub clips or other work going on and it knocks all of that offline. It would be an absolute disaster, but there is a way to fix it. So let's get our two minute timer up on the screen now and off we go. So you can see here we've got a bunch of clips, but these are actually something called sub clips and you can tell this by the little blue flag that they've got on them. A sub clip just means it's a smaller clip that's been pulled out of a larger clip using ranged markers. We actually have a video on ranged markers, which I'll link down in the description for you. So we've created these sub clips and if we put one down on the timeline here, you can see it plays back fine. But what happens if disaster strikes and you accidentally delete or lose the parent clip? As you can see, the sub clip now no longer works. Sometimes it will say media offline in red text or sometimes it will just have a black screen like this. Obviously this would be a bit of a nightmare in the middle of a project. So how do we fix this? Well, first thing you're going to do is exit out of your project and then you're just going to right click on the project you were working on and then just click where it says restore items from backup. In the menu that opens, you're going to see some sequences, but I want you to flick over to the deleted tab up here at the top. And there you'll find a stored version of the clip that we've just deleted. So all we're going to do is click on that and then just click restore down the bottom. You'll get a little message here that pops up saying the restoration has been successful. So if we go back into our project now, and there we go, our clips are back. I'll drag another one down just to show that they're all working. If you were to accidentally delete an entire sequence rather than a sub clip, it's very much the same process. Exit your project, right click on the project, go to restore items from backup, go to deleted and then click the sequence that you've accidentally deleted from your project. The only slight difference here is once you're back in the project, you're just going to want to double click on that sequence to reopen it. And there you go. Everything is back where we left it before we deleted the sequence. There we go. Like I said, hopefully you'll never need to use that. But if you do, at least now you've got it to hand. Let me know in the comments below how you get on if you give that a try. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that YouTube goodness so you get notified every time there's a new episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching.